unusual to see a huge bus parked inside Southern Cross Rail Station, but it was there for the launch of Bus Safety Week. Director Transport Safety David Hurrigan welcomed stakeholders and outlined the intentions of the week. I'm really pleased that everyone could uh, come along today. We've got a great roll-up, the, Wem the famous Wembley Primary School from Yarraville, so thanks kids for coming along. You're the most important users of buses, I think, so keep with it. Also, the police are here and we really appreciate the work of the Heavy Vehicle Inspection Unit. They've been doing a lot of work with our guys as well. And of course, um, BusVic, who are our partners in Bus Safety Week, we really enjoy all the support they've given us. So, as you can see, Bus Safety Week, the theme is, it's a shared responsibility. Executive Director of BusVic, Chris Lowe, expanded on what is meant by a shared responsibility. One of the themes of this week's campaign is that it's not just up to the operator to deliver a safe bus service. We all have a role to play. We're all dependent upon safe behaviours such as pedestrians, such as passengers and other commuters, other drivers of cars. We all have to play our part. Mr Hurrigan went on to say that bus travel has a significant role in the community. 183 million people take a bus trip every year in Victoria and in the last five or six years since the Bus Safety Act came in there's been a 17% increase in the number of people catching buses so we don't think it'll be too much longer before we get to somewhere like 200 million passenger trips every year. The other key thing that Victoria uh, bus industry does is support the economy so about 80% of international uh, tourists take a bus trip at least once during their time in Victoria uh, and inter international visitor numbers were up by 14% last year with 20% increase to regional Victoria which is super important and buses are a key way of, of handling those increase in numbers and those tourists bring $420 million that's just into the regional economy so you can see how buses play a key role for Victoria. And Mr Lowe explained just what it takes to drive Victoria's bus industry. Moving 183 million people a year is no easy task. It takes a lot of coordination, determination and expertise. And out of those 183 million trips each year, there are only a handful, literally a handful of injuries or fatalities. And that makes bus one of the most safest modes of transport. Part of the reason our safety track record is so good is because we've got this very sophisticated accreditation regime. And this accreditation regime centres on three tenets, the vehicle, the operator and the driver. There's a lot of rigour to our accreditation regime. And that's why it's extremely important that school principals and CEOs of organisations who just happen to need a bus or coach that when they do make their inquiries, that they aggressively look for an accredited operator. That is an operator that is accredited by the Victorian Government, by TSB, to operate a safe and efficient bus or coach service. When the speeches concluded, that's when the fun began for a group of Wembley Primary School students who were taken through their bus safety paces.